Good morning, and welcome to another episode of The Forgotten City with me, Huffy Bear. All right, so last time we spoke to Aquidia and we found out who is behind this golden rule shenanigans over here. And so we're trying to replace the plaques in front of the temple so we can open it, figure out what's going on. And last time we got stuck trying to find the Roman plaque, so yeah. It should have been in that uh that temple the Christian temple so we're gonna head over there again and look for it there's this guy too but I think we should take it one at a time oh yeah there's butterflies here so it was over there There it is. It's locked. We need to find the key. Um, actually, there are vines. We, we can probably find a way up here somehow. Where's that? What an extraordinary lamp. What? Where's Octavia? That's the Christian woman, right? This guy's on a wheel. That's to get over there. Should be around here somewhere. Like, like they can't have just, just have that sitting there without anything for us. Unless it may be outside. I think the first time I really explored this place. In those previous episodes, we didn't have that golden bow yet. So now I'm just trying to look up top. There. Crouch. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Hell yeah. Oops. We made it. Is that plaque? Wooden carving with a fish. Cool. And we can talk to her now. that fish thing again oh yeah i said please leave you're trespassing all right all right i'm out i'm out all right we're out of here and we got our plaque so cool all right uh let's take a look here Galerius Magistrate, Aeolus, Greek plaque, and we can ask Dooley about it too. Let's go talk to Dooley. Um, right, this was the way, okay. Ouch. 
Ouch. This somewhere over here, I believe. Mm. Let's just let's just take the roundabout way where I know for certain we'll find him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. He has a Greek plaque in his cell. Do you like it? It's shiny, isn't it? It makes me happy just looking at it. May I please have it? But if I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore, and I'd be sad. Well, damn. But it's mine, and I really like it. I want to keep it. Mm. Um. Well, if you get me out of here, then I wouldn't need it anymore because I'd already be happy. Then you could have it, and you'd be happy too. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to do that other quest to make the helper do the magistrate. Like, Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. Hmm. He made me a doll and everything. We may have to restart the time loop. Yeah, Galerius will let me out. I already know for certain Maloli, Maliola as well. And everyone will be happy. Bye-bye. Hello. Wait. Bye-bye. Oh, I guess it auto puts you into a conversation as soon as you step closer. You look well, my sartorial friend. Oh, this is the... Hello. Okay, we don't I need hope... to talk to him anymore. Because we know where the Greek one is. The other one is that, uh... That Egyptian plaque and a mystery plaque. Leads at the tavern. I guess we should do one thing at a time, so... Galerius. Talk to Galerius. Oh, he might be asleep. The election. Already? Wait, where is Galerius? Why is he here? Ha. Huh. Wow, this is dark. because he's walking about. All right, let's try to talk to him before this election. Oh, I think the actual election is about to happen now. Yeah, we're going to have to trigger a time loop then. I guess after, after this entire process. Let's see who wins, actually, without me doing anything. my first time actually experiencing this. <laughs> I think to trigger the time loop, I'll turn people into gold. Citizens, we have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus Marcus Maliolus. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Right, let's Georges. see. Sentius. Dacius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. 
Meliolus. Ulpius. Sentius. Rufius. Mm. Meliolus. And finally, Domitius. Meliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Which is it? Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. Well, he didn't drop out. I said, Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. All right. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and I thought the golden rule would proc already somehow elected your magistrate and now I make this solemn promise to you good citizens under my leadership you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve let's see what happens no more shall you walk on eggshells fearing simply to live and breathe because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. So what, what happens here? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no all idea. All right, let's what let's let doing. this play out. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a vestal priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. Man, Maliolus is a jerk. You do us all. Lies. It is time the golden rule was exposed for what it is. I do want to see everyone actually realize it's real, though, because it seems like I'm the only one. Because I'm the only one who remembers and knows. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. All right, let's watch. The, the many, many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh. Yep. All right. <laughs> well, I did what I wanted. I turned him into gold. Oh, wow. I'm about to die. Yeah, they're hunting me. All right, we're going to have to try hard to get Galerius elected. That was tough. Salve, friend. Mind telling me? Hmm. Ooh. I don't remember this option before. Let's let's save that. That that might just be one of the other endings, so we're gonna save that. Alright. Oh, Here's some things urgently. Serious. I'm listening. Yulia. Alright, let me see. But how did you I'll go. All right, there's that. Wait. Okay, I'm going to have to... I forgot to grab some coins at that last one. Well, we'll talk to Equity again you, at some point. Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Hmm. First off, we're going to have to make sure... This guy becomes magistrate. Ooh, and this one too, actually. Well, while uh, Galerius is running around, talking to everyone, doing those tasks, let's examine uh, this guy's room again. 
Should have been this one, right? Yeah, this is his room. So he's a Christian. And he has a stone carving of a... <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go talk to this guy again. I think we closed ourselves off in the last time. That should be fine in this one. Rufius. Okay, there he is. He's talking. Name's Rufius. Yeah, this guy's salty. No idea what you're talking Yes, so what? What are you going Okay, to I have to have that done, I guess. And why should I? The one true God says that for man to lie with another man is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. This is guy. Come on, man. Use some logic. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so... You know... Hmm. It makes me uncomfortable. And there's the root of it. I don't like where you're going with this. You'd better take that back before I make you. Oh, yeah? I have no idea what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. I have nothing to say to you. Hmm. Did not. Well. That didn't work. I have nothing. Hmm. Maybe I can report him to Sentius? Get him to lock him up as well. All weapons that have been tossed into the cavern. I wonder if he'll act like he doesn't remember me. I thought I told you to get out of. Oh yeah, he's just being a jerk now. Useless. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Sentinel. Don't believe a word they tell you. Mm. All right. That didn't go anywhere, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. Opius. Opius saved him, so. Or was saved by him. Shalom, friend. Along. Sentius, I suppose. All right, friend. Okay, I guess I have to I have to talk to Galerius first. He's not running anymore, so maybe that was it. Salve again, friend. I how is it possible? Don't believe a word mm. they tell you. Oh come on. I just did as you asked. Uh, you're a bit Sisyphus. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. He was forced to push a great, forcing him to start over. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a... Hmm. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But 
on the bright side. We're definitely stuck in the underworld. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset. To, so I'll tell you what. You're a good oh. man. Now I'm going to keep your secret. Oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me. Wait. Salve again, my now. Here we go. Ever thought about running for magistrate yourself? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting duly set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad Unless. thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom, so I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. Hmm. And how could you... Oh, wait. You've seen it in another time loop, haven't you? I have. Well, I'm surprised case, he actually believes find me. find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left, I'll run against him. Deal? All right. All right, friend. So I can't progress in that quest until I do this one. All right. Uh, this is what's going to be difficult. On your best behavior, I trust. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? This is Maliolus's house, right? Oh no, it's not. This is uh, Equitia's house. A new face, Arve. Hmm. That is quite a lot to take in. Okay, so we can speed run our conversation. Let's see. If that is, we don't have much to go on. It, Hercules, Hercules, Sisyphus, and, and finally Aeneas. So it seems. Okay. May so, yeah, she's quick on the uptake. Oh, yeah, we need to talk to the wife again. There we go. I should be able to sneak upstairs. And she may be crying in here again, so let's see. I'm not supposed to be in here. Hmm. <laughs> that one. Uh talk what business could you possibly have with me hmm. yeah why are my you marital locked? affairs are no concern of yours thank you very much hmm. Hmm. An int this hmm. is the thing from last time you know some time ago. Now, addressing, I can. I let, but. We women have to stick I can together. Do more. There we one go. One hand washes the other, as they say. The right it seems one. Our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him. Sorry, I had to cough. But first, I need you to do something for me. What do you want? I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? Hmm. Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. After all I've done for him, counseling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry. And if he tries to discipline me again, 
I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. It won't get I to am that so point, looking forward to it. You mean, aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room and Domitius is right outside the villa because there's barely any left in the city. In fact, there's only one small urn, as far as I'm aware. And getting it won't be easy. Is it in uh, Sentius's house? So you'll help me? Yes. Excellent. Now, you'll need to pay a visit to that strumpet Aurelia in her tavern. I expect you'll have to flatter her a bit. If that doesn't work, you might be able to get some advice from Yulia, who's Julia. probably still at the Shrine of Apollo. I heard they used to be close. They both appreciate the poetry of Sappho of Lesbos, if you get my meaning. I'll get right on it. Thank you. All right, we're going to have to talk to Yulia first, then. I'm glad, like, we finally... Finally, know what we're supposed to be doing here. Oi! How did you get in there, you cheeky little sturkers? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite an impressive bow you have there. Where like is that. Julia? So I know. Yeah, Aurelia is the strumpet. Uh, Julia should still be on that hill. Unless this is her. Be careful who yep. you trust. Here she is. Sorry. Um, was there something you want? Hmm. You mean my life story? Our father found good husbands for my sisters. But I wasn't, uh, cut out for that kind of life. Ah, okay. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent That makes merchant. sense for what we know now. It was a good life for a while. Until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers. I don't remember her Vulcan, saying this in our previous time loops, years. too. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost everyone. My employer told me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber with the crowds. I remember diving into the river and then... The next thing I knew, I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. I'm sorry to Thank hear that. You. I consider myself fortunate. At least I'm still alive. Hmm. If that's your idea of a... No, no, no. I didn't mean to make you mad. I know what, what kind of per- Oh, did I mess that up? Damn it. I was the one who paid your bail, too. Oh, that's so annoying. All right. Don't believe a word they tell you. Maybe we can check if Aulia has a room in here. And just look for poetry instead. Just need to figure out which one is Iulia's room. That's this is Kabash's room, the Egyptian. Uh, yeah, that's such and such faces room. Cerberus lifts his triple head. Olivia's. Okay, this is Galerius's. What's wrong with Medea? I love Medea. Imitating their previous lives. This is Virgil's. Ignorant. This again. You're in a world this is this Demidius's. Ooh, actually, I don't think I'm looking at Demidius's room. Simple guy. I don't think he has uh, too much. Don't know who lives in here. This is Navia's room. 
looking for Yulia's room. Lucretia's room. Seems like we found anything here. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone. Unless she just doesn't live here at all. Returns. Beautiful. All right, Aurelia. Oh, you're here. And uh, I can tell from. Yeah, we messed up. We should have uh, talked to Yulia some more. For a few Kabash. weeks now. Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about. At some least we can kind job. of recover. I remember because they kept looking over their shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. So uh, naturally, I hovered. The one word hovered. I kept hearing was vanishing. And then the next day, Kabash just disappeared. Coincidence? I think not. Ah. Huh. Wine. I do, but I'm afraid it's not for sale. It's the last jug in the entire city, so I'm saving it for a, a romantic occasion. Hmm. Really? That's your move. Unfortunately for. We'll see What's about that. that? To be? All right. Ask Ayulia how to charm. I feel it's like I can just turn. take it upstairs, but let, let's just test it out. Let's see if the dialogue changes. She walked far. I know what was. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's just take the wine then, and the money, and reset the loop. I think I'll have to save uh, Yulia myself Wow isn't that a big long bow a bottle yeah it's that fermented stuff okay so she got denarius in there yeah I wonder if it's just upstairs. You stay away from my money. Yes, yes. Perfume and oil. Brass mirror. Key to Aurelius chest. Thief item. I think I'm pretty sure I already have one of those. Where is the wine? She's keeping it somewhere question is where All right Unless you want me to slip some hemlock into your next drink get out Nope I'm going to take your money and we're going to do this again The many shall suffer for the too. sins of the one At least we can always just reset. So I'm gonna make sure Galerius doesn't talk to them just yet because I want to get that. That bottle of wine. Yeah, it's gonna be multiple loops. Right, we're 
here. Let's go. Salve, friend. Oh, sounds serious. Yulia. Let's do that one. All right, let me see. I'll go, but once. Oh, we needed to save her from the. Oh no. Okay. Let's uh. <laughs> Let's reset. Well, isn't that an impressive trinket? Let's reset. You stay away from my money. The many shall suffer <laughs> for the sins of the yeah, one. Yeah, we're gonna have to reset again. I forgot Yulia is the one who is poisoned. So we're just gonna have to. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. We're gonna have to have him go over to the top of the hill, but we'll take care of Yulia. Yeah, look at Sentius go. We're just running about to the end of this episode, too. So we'll do that, and then we'll stop it there. That's the thing about time loops. It gets a little bit difficult to uh, keep things into consideration. Salve, friend. Salve. Oh. All right, let that me see. One. Um, that's it. I'll go. Yeah, we'll just have to save uh, Yulia by ourselves. Unfortunately, I think uh, Yulia will have to you, die in this timeline. Running, running. Greetings and salutations. What are you doing in here? She need here. what, Yulia? Hopefully that. Hmm. Will she A believe what? me if I tell her? I'm sorry, I ma that was like the you just saved and me in the mean. I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been... I'm tired, and... I'll... Oh, yeah, Navia is the one in the temple. My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. I would have divorced him and demanded the... Re so I waited. As he prepared to evacuate, I could barely see. The mm. next thing I re... It's all right. And while there's no shortage of... Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So, I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. That's true. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. Oh, the last speaking about I that assassin, her, I could probably just tell him straight where Maliolus is and let him she kill was him. Muttering to the statues. He probably has like the proof somehow. And then she shut herself in the palace. That must be another way to do it. From the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His rheumatism. joints are inflamed, and he's in constant pain. Ooh. I really shouldn't say. 
He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Really? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Well, I guess I do have, have her go. key. The chest and the clinic and the shrine of Apollo. We're in the shrine of Apollo now. Be careful who you trust. Navius treatment notes. Willow bark. Okay, Yulia. All right, oh, let's try to get this good. It's you. Was there something you want? <laughs> Trying to grift Aurelia. Really? You're going to give that snake a taste of her own medicine? I'm in. What do you need? Yeah, I need to know how to seduce her. Ah, so you need to sweep her off her feet then. Is that it? Yes, I think it is. I can help you with that. As much as it disgusts me to say this, we were sort of involved before she betrayed me. So I know her better than anyone. The thing you need to know about her is this. She's obsessed with money. An ostentatious display of wealth probably wouldn't hurt. One more thing. Oh, and yeah. I feel dirty saying this. She keeps a journal upstairs in her room, beside her bed. If you could somehow take a look. Beside her bed? That might I don't think I've seen that. How she thinks. May Nemesis guide you. Ooh. May Nemesis. All right. All right, let's let her know. Feeling all right? Oh, I see. Willow Bark. Willow Bark. I should have known. I have some right here. So it's Rufius. Could you do me a favor and give him some? Thank you. I'm really... Wow, we're just solving everything right a... now. Thank goodness for time loops. Alright, we'll hit up uh, the bartender after Thank Rufius you. since he's right here. What business is that of yours? Willow bar. And this will work? Oh, thank... Finally, some relief. This is what I've been praying for. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after I all. I hope he's more receptive than to... Thank you. I've been... in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism, these cursed statues always watching and the... crisis of faith. It was too much. Started messing with my head. This is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. Thanks. All right, let's uh, let's do the Are You Threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. Ah, look, I I haven't been at my best lately. I know that. It's the rheumatism. Rheumatism. It starts with constant pain in all your joints. Then the pain starts to mess with your head. Makes you angry. Mean. I know that's not an excuse for how I acted. But it's the truth. But with the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. And I know I said I owe you one. So, I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. This is good. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just forget this ever happened. Will you? All right. Maybe actually not, but... All 
right, he was the, uh, the blacksmith. Ah, a new face. Salve, I hear we have you to... Hmm. Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? You went snooping in his place? That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any have lines. Permission, so... Have you spoken to him about it? Yes. Really? How did you manage that? Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Nice Look. to talk to you. Oh, that must be another way for Galerius then to uh, get another vote. Alright, next up. Bartender time. Because we could take a look up there too at her diary. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Where's that Lydia, diary at? Would you stop muttering like my dear over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. That's her bed, right? They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. She doesn't Listen, have a book out. You're so. in a world of your own, aren't you? Oh well. Um, should still have her actual diary here, so let's read it. Uh, hmm. Scamming. Okay. Let's try talking to her oh, now. Oh, you're here. I'm s and uh, I hope I'm not being Skip. I can tell from the way you can and now that I've made my fortune I'm well, looking to settle since you down bring that up let's cut to the chase what are you worth thousands of denial I have that much myself maybe if you had at least ten thousand <sighs> let's just ten thousand all right how much do I have right now? I know I have like two thousand. I have six thousand. All right. Uh. You stay away from my money. The quickest way would just be to take her money, right? The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. All right. We're just gonna have to do that twice. But actually. I think this is a good place to stop the episode, so yeah, I'll just do that again until we hit 10,000, and then we'll continue the next episode from there. But once again, guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm Huffy Bear. Please hit a like or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Forgotten City. Take care, guys. Huffy Bear out. As I go into the portal, we'll end the episode. See you next time.